So for getting drunk, back again with you here on how to a beer review. The one I'm going to review just now is my favourite really weather. And it's English. <laughs> Only kidding. <laughs> and it's Fuller's. And it's the Fuller's London Pride. 4.7 on the Richter scale. The only thing that lets me down about this label on the bottle is it says it's a premium meal. The thing with premium is normally mass produced. Get out there as quickly as we can, but that's uh, the wording lets me down. But the product that hasn't never let me down. This is a beer uh, when I tried a few years getting the craft beers a few years ago. Uh, you, you do the usual. You you have a go at this and I go at that. And I my local supermarket right beside me, the nearest one is an Asda. So Asda would have so many beers and. If you look at my early beer reviews, I was picking up all sorts of shit and having a go at them. It was all kind of trial and error and I was buying like four or five different beers every week uh, to see what I liked. There's a bottle crown. Absolutely. Simplicity. Superb simplicity. Uh, as I said, I was buying four or five beers every week uh, to, like, uh, to enjoy and then there was one week I bought this and I, I kind of held off from London Pride. I said, oh, it's just a typical English crap. And then I gave in one day and it was on special offer. And I bought it. And I've never looked back since. An absolute classic beer uh, to drink. I've drank this so many times. Can't believe it. It's one of those ones that uh, I've, I've always had in the fridge, and uh, I love London Pride. To be honest with you, it's, it's a classic beer. I've been in London a few times now since I started drinking craft beers, and uh, it is a classic beer. I always look out for a Fuller's pub because it's, to me, it, the Fuller's mean they've got this stamp of authority of uh, brewers all over them. So say, look, there's, there's a bottle, the old style bottle. I, I bought this one a while ago. Uh, I held this one back before I got the new batch in. <laughs> I held this one back because I wanted to review it because this is when I started to drink it at the old label. And now they're rebranded re and they've got the new label. So there you go. Old label, new label. So I'm reviewing the old label one. Still in date, fair yeah. enough. Absolute cockery of beer. Uh, as I said, it's always my favourite. Uh, a lot of people out there will disagree with me, but 4.7 on a Richter scale. If you're going out, especially when you're down south, in the smoke, London, walk into a pub, what do you drink? And it's got all these different eels, and you see that. Give us a pride. Give us a pint of pride. Fantastic stuff. So we're going here for the nose, see what we can come up with. I've watched countless reviews of this. People always come up with different noses on it. And I dare say I'll not be any different. What I always get from it is it's got a bready nose. It's got a little bit of slight caramel to it. A little bit of a slight uh, maltiness about it as well. A bit of, yeah. Not too over roasted, but slightly roasted uh, note. It is a classic beer. It's one I urge anyone, if you're coming to the UK, especially London, like especially from America, States, Australia, uh, Europe, everyone flies into London. Everyone wants to see what London's all about. And you walk in and you want to try, and uh, probably in my eyes, the king of the English beers. This is it. London Pride. I'm sorry, but there is a lot of great English brewers out there, a lot of great English beers, but for me, this is, in my eyes, this is the beer. If I was stranded on a desert island tomorrow, Scots person here, Scots person here, and he said, you're allowed to take a real ale with you, countless real ale, or a bottomless class, to me, it'd be a London Pride. I'm sorry. It's absolutely Fantastic beer. So anyway, we'll go in here and see what it's all about. So 
superb. It's a little bit of. I read somewhere someone had said it a little bit of floral note to it. I'm not getting floral note. I always get that lovely. It's like a almost like a red berry throwback. A little bit of caramel in there as well. It's got that lovely doughy bready experience which I really really love in beer and that's probably why I really really do like this beer. Um, it's a it is a class beer. World world champion for me. Every mouthful is the same. It doesn't matter where I go. I've tried this in pubs in Glasgow and they've kept, they keep it really good but it's like countless times over the last few years when I started drinking real ales, craft beers, I go down to London and I was down with my big friend, Big Minty, shout out to Big Minty, Minty's beer reviews. Me and him were down London this year, a great uh, the GBBF and we, there was a Fuller's pub beside the hotel we were staying in and we went in there and we had, we had breakfast before we went to Great British Beer Festival and we, we both had a pint of that and it is a solid brew. I told Minty about it and uh, Minty had a go at it and obviously the usual, you, you don't get a straight answer out of him because he's just an arrogant big shit. <laughs> but even he said it's a good brew, it's a good brew. Uh, Shout out to Minty's father-in-law, I think <laughs> he's a London Pride fan as well. It, it is a, it's a classic brew. It's my favourite out of all the ones I've tried. And, and it's, it is a world-class brew. But a lot of people out there would just say, you're talking shit, you should try this, you try that. I never ever got the chance to try, gold, what is it, Golden Pride? And Beer Goggles Reviews was telling me about Golden Pride. This, for me is a solid brew there's no point in it. no point in just saying that there's people out there just going to throw names of beers at you and all that I never got a chance to try some of these beers I'm now winding down for a while on my beer reviews uh, I want to just take a step back from it for a while there is I've got a little bit of a bucket list that I'll maybe touch on in another video but this is a world beater for me an absolute world beater. So it is. London Pride, four point seven on the Richter scale. I'm going to read a little bit, of, but on the back. If anyone's watched any of my peer views, and there's been a few, you like the drunk ones. I know you do. Uh, like that. Uh, this was the first sort of like. It wasn't really a beer review. It was piss one night, and I, I drank about ten bottles of it. I think. And uh, I just put them all, I lined them all up and uh, I put, this is my favourite drink sort of thing and it was London Pride and I spoke a little bit about it. That was a way back uh, when I decided, uh, when people like, uh, shout out Beer Goggles Reviews, uh, he was one of the guys that said, get on the camera and review it and stuff like that. I didn't think much, uh, I, like, I like to watch the beer reviews in the early doors. Shout out another guy to a really old guide. Really old guide and Beer Goggles reviews were the first two guys I watched, to be honest with you, because I wanted to see what all this really old movement was all about, because it was gathering momentum. And those were the first two guys I watched, and then I got into other people as well. Uh, and now I've went worldwide, I've got Canadians, I've got Americans, I've got Australians, I've got, I've got Germans, I've got... There's lots of people out there. There's lots of great people out there and a lot of good friends in the beer community. Catch you on Facebook. A lot of you do Twitter. I do my Twitter, which is totally nothing to do with the beer beer review. It's mostly sport. But this is a world-class beer. So anyway, I'm going to give this. Sophie King Drunk's going to give London Pride 4.7 on the Rexton Steel. Rexton Steel. Richter Steel. <laughs> Richter Steel. <laughs> Can't believe I could even say that. 4.7. Outstanding. Is that what it says on it? Outstanding. I'm not going to call Outstanding English Shield. I'm not going to call that premium here. English Shield. Outstanding English Shield. 
Remember, Scottish person here. If anyone from Fillers watches this, I don't want any free beer. I would love a t-shirt. <laughs> Please, send me a personal message. I would love a London Pride t-shirt. So anyway, I'm going to give this a sofa king drunk rating. And nothing gets perfection on my channel. Nothing gets 10 out of 10. This was damn close to it. This was really damn close to it. I'm going to give this a Sofa King drunk rating of 9.9 .9 out of 10. So anyway, if you've had London Pride, and I dare say you have, if you've watched this video, and if you've not, and you want to dabble, and you've got, maybe you've bought a bottle, get it open. If you've got it in the fridge, leave it out a little while before you drink it, let it come up, and you'll get a nice big fluffy head on it, and you'll enjoy. Sit back and enjoy it, and then know what to do. If you've not got any more, get your shoes on, back to the supermarket and buy some more. It's a classic beer. So anyway, so fucking drunk drinking a London Pride. Slangy va. Keep drinking good beer. I'll maybe catch you again in another beer here. Slangy va. Ciao for now.